You guys are back tonight, as everyone said, back and better than ever. You got a perfect score. You won the relay. How are you feeling to be being told that right now? <laughs> On cloud nine. I don't think it's sunk in yet. Like, yeah. it's just crazy. We've been working so hard, and we've both been so sick. Yeah. <laughs> so just to get out here and just perform to the best that we could was already such a huge accomplishment for us. Yeah. Week nine, cloud nine. Yeah. Yeah. The week seven and eight were tough, uh, so I knew this was potentially my last chance if I wanted to go all the way. Uh, so I just came in tonight focused on the dance, and we did it. We did it. And because it is Taylor Swift night, I know you have a very special connection. You performed with her before. What was that experience like, like getting to reflect on that tonight with everyone? Oh, it was so wonderful. I mean, she's such a generous performer, sharing the stage with other artists, and acknowledging your dancers and her crew. Um, so it was nice to have experienced that myself and get to sing on a stage with her. She's just a real person. She's a real person and that's what I love about her success is that she didn't come out of a machine. She wasn't fabricated. She started playing her songs at the Bluebird in Nashville and you know, and the whole globe recognizes that. How do you feel like she has personally inspired you as an artist? To be yourself, yeah. yeah. And, and the work ethic as well. Um, if you love what you do, share it. And that's what she's doing well. I, I've been asking everyone, what song, if you can remember, made you a Swifty? Whoever wants to go first. <laughs> it's a tough one, there's so many. I'm not gonna lie, like, she's the kind of artist that almost has overwhelmed me with volume, like, so much music. And then you're like, where do I start? Dancing to her music this week was a great entry point for me, a re-entry point. That Lavender Haze remix oh that we God, danced to so good. was like, okay, this is probably one of my new favorite dance floor bangers right here. Yeah. So it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, this week has been actually for me more eye-opening because I always had a respect for her and I feel like her music is just so massive in the world. Like she's just an icon. But I feel like this week I've heard pieces of music that I haven't heard either in a while or new pieces of music. I haven't heard Lavender Haze before. And I was like, what is that? That sounds so good. And it was so fun to see everyone dance to it. And the energy, her, her fans and everyone around her is just so positive. It was a great week. It was a fun week. A lot of fans were vocal on social media about maybe some bad blood happening oh, in the ballroom, no. which you squashed. I squashed it. So yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. us about that. What was that well, like? Well, like I said, week seven and eight were really hard for me. Yeah. And I was in the bathtub. I didn't want to get out of the bathtub and come back. I wanted to quit. And so I said, vote for Harry. I'm delirious. And that's not what people expect on this show. They don't expect you to say vote for somebody else because it's a competition. But I was just so weak and and just burnt out. And then the whole thing backfired. People thought I was, for some reason, making fun of him. But I love Harry. I told him today, long before the results, I said, you have improved so much. Your dancing tonight looks so beautiful. Please keep dancing. After the show, keep dancing. He's only 26. If he keeps going, by the time he's 30, he could be an incredible dancer. That could be an amazing talent that he could take with him the rest of his life. And so I, I hope he I hope he keeps dancing because he's such a yes to everything that comes along. He's a cool guy. And he's so he's cool. Awesome. It's a wonderful energy to have around. We're definitely going to miss him. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time, though, it is a competition. You guys made it to the semifinals. How excited are you? And what can you tease about what you're going to bring to the table next week? We have two whole new dances. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again, uh, we haven't done any style of those styles before, so and they're two separate dances from one another, which is even crazier. Yeah. Very different, but I'm excited. I can't wait yeah. to get back in and just start, keep working. That's all we it's have to exciting. do. It's exciting. It's gonna for me. It's it's an opportunity to show range because I'm gonna do two different dances that we haven't done yet. They're very different from each other, uh -huh. and um, and I believe now I'm the last male. No way. In the competition. Hey. Wait, what? Are you really? Yeah. No? Yeah. I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. I just realized that I saw that. <laughs> so. Okay, that's quite the honor. Wait, seriously? I mean, besides the pros. Yeah. So oh my god. Mariana. Charity, that's nuts. Allison. And you? Yeah. That's no. crazy. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. But it's an opportunity to show range and show some dynamics and prove that. You know, I can represent in the represent. finals. Yeah. 